I am tired from committing so many crimes! Alright guys, if you saw the last video, you know what time it is. It is time for crime. To sum up, I went to Twitter, I stole art, I traced over that art, and then I put it back on Twitter. And we're gonna go over how I did that. And the first victim of my crime is... Gazetruth's cool. Alright, time for the crime cam. Whoosh! So, Gazeter, very poppy style. I really like the colors that this person uses. They do a lot of things right, but I think my favorite thing are the outfits. I mean, look at this. That's pretty, that's pretty cute. It's a pretty nice outfit. I mean, as you can tell, I'm an outfit aficionado. Or whatever. Actually, funnily enough, that is why, well, the only reason, but that's one of the reasons why I chose this one. Look at this really cool outfit. I especially like these boots. I like the buckle on the boots right there. Okay, in case you didn't watch the last video, and I hope you watched the last video, I think it was pretty good. We're gonna go over first identifying the shapes, and then the outline, and then where I messed up. Just by looking at this now, I do remember how much these legs gave me trouble. So, these legs are really long, I think. I mean, if you compare the size from the shoulder to the pelvis, and then from the size of the legs, even bent, these are, like, massive. And that's okay, because Gazetteur has the right to do that. And I think it looks pretty cool. I think this person wears their legs well. I mean, if I were this person, I would just simply have shorter legs. I think that, I think I would make that rock. But this person, this person's doing okay. It was really hard for me to identify the knee. The knee's probably really, um, probably about this size. Instead of this stupid little diamond I have here. Alright, let's get more into the line art. Alright, I think one of the main things that I'm noticing off the bat is that I think I made the head a little bit squishier here. I think I got how big the head is, okay, but I just put things in the wrong spot. So I put this too low, and then that made me put this too low. And then I got down to the chin by the time I was putting the mouth and the nose in. But, I mean, it's all learning. This hair was a lot of fun, though. Look at this hair. This hair is really cool. I didn't nail the hair or anything, but I, I had a lot of fun drawing this hair. I thought I drew the sword for this one, too. Didn't I draw the sword? Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Is it here? Oh, there it is. Alright. Moment of truth. Not so bad. Everything's kind of just a little bit off. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I try to, like, match it up. Because sometimes if I just hold shift, bring it over, I've actually like, done the proportions right in some areas, but not others. So, like, if I put that there, the hand is mostly right, but then the arm doesn't go back up far enough. So let's see about the face. So let's match it up to the neck. I see. Okay. So what happened is, I pulled the head too slightly forward this way. And didn't give it enough room back here. So that put most of the face details a little bit off kilter there. Torso, like I said, is mostly on point. Legs I actually did a pretty good job on, I think. Like, the positioning down here is bad, but I got the placement of the knees basically right. Yeah, so to start off, this one was pretty simple. It's not going to be like that for the rest of the video. Alright, Gazetteur and Long Legs are out. Time to move on to the next victim. The Hydroxian. But I'm just gonna call him Hydro. I don't think I'm really too aware of the celebrity status of certain Twitter artists, but if you ask me, Hydro is very underrated. 
and I think that's simply because not a lot of people know about him. This guy's work is so good. If there's any one thing that I take away from all of Hydro's art, it's that you don't need as much shading to create depth. For example, in this image he has a few highlights and a few shadows right under the hat here and here on... I don't know what this is. Is this her butt? This is just a solid color down here on the jacket and yet you can still tell what the perspective is. You can still tell how far away these feet are from this hand. And Hydro is just a master at it. So today we are looking at Hydro's original character, Kaita. Kaida. I think it's Kaida. I think I'm right. And she is a robot dog person thing. He draws a lot of robots. I like the positioning here, and I really wanted to see if I could emulate having that same kind of depth through simple line art like this. And also look at that face. I want to know how to draw a face like that. So we're going to figure out how to draw a face like that. Let's go. So first off, the shapes were actually kind of simple, because if you especially notice down in the legs right here, because this character is a robot, the shape of the legs is very well outlined, and so are the joints. So like, I know where the knee is, because the knee is just sticking out, because it's a robot. The head was definitely hard because of this muzzle here. I had to figure out how to... how big this muzzle was, how far out it's coming, how far in it goes. I don't think I did that bad though. Let's let's get to the outline. Kind of like in the image I did when I stole from Sono Kiddo. Hydro uses a lot of lines and stuff right here to simulate that clothing and it's a lot of like really simple straight lines and stuff and just kind of a lot of them. And I think I did a pretty good job in figuring that out. Not perfect of course. But it taught me a lot about how these lines can imitate those folds and provide some of that depth. Now, that saying, I think what ended up happening here, yeah, I can already tell. This line is not equal to this line. The form just does not come down enough. It needs to be like here or something. And the face. I did not hog as hard. As Hydro did, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I've been getting a lot better with hands lately. And I'm not emulating them perfectly, of course, but I feel more comfortable just flat out doing a hand with or without a reference. You know what? I'll do it right now. You get a box, and then some things come out of the box. Hey, look at me go. I don't have enough fingers. There. Oh yeah, that looks perfect, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Alright, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Okay, hold up, hold up. What is going on here? So the positioning that I have right here is okay. I basically followed the right path. Then once I got to the hip, everything fell apart. I made this part of the torso come too low and completely missed where the hip is actually supposed to be and how the stomach is supposed to scrunch right there. So, when it comes to the pelvis, to the armpit, I was kind of dead on. But then the rest of this stuff is bad. And yep, just to verify. So, I must have measured this out. So this is exactly in the right spot, and this is basically in the right spot. This whole thing just needs to come up this way. What if we just kind of zoot right here? Control T. Control. Yeah. Art. Wait, how did that look? <laughs> Is 
<laughs> okay, no more Hydro, no more robots. It's time to move on to the next person, who is... Kick Doc. I love that name. Kick Doc. Kick Doc is crazy. Kick Doc just does whatever the heck they want. They don't care about no rules. Again, that's probably because they learned them, but then they realize that rules are dumb. So they should just do whatever they want. I mean, look at this. I can see so many art infractions on this image alone. Let's go to the next one. So many rule breaking right here. Like, spines don't bend like that. And people don't have mouths on their back with giant tongues sticking out. Like, you're breaking so many rules, KickDoc. But I'm a criminal. So I like that. So KickDoc's art really stood out to me because of how much this person bends those rules. And I wanted to see if I was at that level yet. Spoiler alert, I am very well not at that level yet. So, this is Jack, and I think I bit off a little bit more than I can chew. It's like I had gotten so used to like where the spine and the shoulders were located. And then all of a sudden, is it here? Is it here? Why does his back go all the way back here? Where's his spine go? His spine, his neck is right here, but his spine doesn't connect to it. Here's his spine. Yeah, his spine just goes like that. Like, to compensate, I figured this guy just had a really big rib cage and a really small belly. Really small belly. Okay, whatever. That his shoulders were completely just detached from the ribcage altogether. Like, I don't think it connects under there. And his hips are basically non-existent. His pants are resting on nothing. So, needless to say, this was probably the most difficult one I've done so far. So, with the line art, on top of the body shape being really hard to figure out, his clothes are just popping off. Why did I take the time to outline every single link in the chain here? Why did I do that? I didn't even- <laughs> I didn't even fit- copy it over here. I was just like, no, I'm tired. Like, I got tired after doing this. None of my OCs will ever wear chains after this. I think I ended up getting the spirit of the form. Once I lay my picture over KickDoc's picture. You'll, you'll just see. Okay, don't cry for me. Uh, no, it's awful. What if I line what if I line that up? Yeah, okay, everything's just off. What if I line up the arm? It's so funny, like I can line some of these up. Look at that. And I got this shape down here in the arm correct. But it's just getting from point A to point B if something goes wrong. This hand's okay. I'm actually kind of proud of myself for this hand. It's too big, but I th think if you just saw my version of it, you wouldn't think that. I bent this finger out a lot more this way, when as you can see the finger under here is kind of just straighter. That said, I don't think that this is necessarily bad looking. I think that looks kind of cool. I might even like my version better. Alright, let's kick out Kick Doc and move on to the last person on the docket today, which is someone called... Laz the Lazy. Laz has a really good understanding of anatomy. Look at these muscles. I don't really have too much to say about Laz's work except to give it praise. Laz doesn't do anything too crazy like we just saw Kick Doc do, but he just seems to be having this mastery of anatomy and they're only getting better. I mean look at this. Let's look at some of his other work. Oh my gosh. That looks just like Obama! Isn't that crazy? Look at these legs. Really interesting posture here. Just so well done. I don't know what's going on here. 
I guess this person's a mouse. Oh yeah, they are a mouse. Look, it's, a, it's a, look at the tail. I didn't even see that before. Today, we're actually going over one of Laz's earlier works. This is his OC Malahi. They're some kind of alien. I think they look like a plant-based alien, but I'm, I don't really know. Maybe they're a turtle. I don't know. They look cool. I picked this one because I wanted to learn how to do this proportion right here. Because I haven't done a lot of chest facing forward like that before. Okay, so right off the bat, I think definitely the hardest bit of this image was figuring out where this arm goes, how far it extends, and where it lands. So let's see. Yeah, I basically that got that right, but then I kind of overcompensated here. The reason I say why I wanted to draw this because of the torso and the proportions of that um, and the perspective of that is because I don't usually draw the pelvis from this kind of top-down thing, so I kind of struggle figuring out how to get the shape of it here. Because when it's upright, I've got it pretty down pat. Like, if it's upright, the torso is usually something like this and then like the leg goes like here that's just enough for simplification of it but like something like that but here like the triangle it's more of a cone but an oblong cone all right now for some more outlines i actually kind of struggle with the clothing a lot here in this one the same with the torso issue it was just hard figuring out like how much i could see on the top how much i could see on the bottom how far down does this actually go i think i did okay i always think i do okay though so you look at this. Okay, so if we look over here, this meets up right there in a pretty straight line. Where, <laughs> uh, whereas I, I wanted this to meet up with the elbow, but that put the elbow in the wrong spot. It should go down here, so this should go down here. Oh boy. All right, last moment of truth for the night. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, does anything match up? The shoulder matches up to there. Oh, wow. Okay, so if we match up the arm right there, I ended up getting, like, where this hand is okay. But I just totally missed, like, how this arm is supposed to bend. It's supposed to go like this. And I just had it go in a straight line here. I don't know what I was doing. I just went zoop. I didn't put any curve into it whatsoever. Hip is in totally the wrong place. It needs to be all the way up here. And if we move this over to line it up with the face a bit more, like I said, that's okay. Not too bad about that. I keep making the torso too big. I keep making all these torsos too big. It's not that I made her bigger. I think it just, I made the perspective different. You know, so it kind of seems like she's more turned that way. When in reality, she's like this. But I made her more like this yeah that's a good way of describing it one note i got from laz is that the bow is important to the drawing it adds balance to it and he's totally right i omitted the bow but i really shouldn't have i was trying to focus on the body but there needs to be a bow so let's put a bow in right now i think if i just put a thing right here Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is way better. I, this is already way better. Oh my gosh, Laz was so right. Why did, I, why did I skip the bow? That's great. Fixes everything. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't think that's what he meant. Well, like I said... I'm tired of crimes, for right now anyways. I should really go take a nap or something. Thank you again to all the artists that allowed me to copy their homework. I hope you liked it, and I hope you look forward to the next one. And with that, punks, it's time for me to go. I think I'm gonna go take a nap or something. It's been a really long... Hey. What are you... Yo, aren't you Alan's floppa? <clears throat> I mean, Andy. You're Andy's floppa, aren't you?